Hi everyone, today I'm launching my Seamless Skin Enhancing Skin Tint and my Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencils. These are two really exciting launches for me. They've been a long time coming, but they are now finally ready. So I'm already wearing um, my Tint Shade 6 and I'm wearing my Sculpting Pencil in 0N, which is a neutral. And I'm really excited to talk you through all of the shades, all the details of the formulas, the finishes, everything you need to know about these products. I'm going to start with the tint, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with my new Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. So it comes in a box like this, and inside the bottles look like this. So they are a really interesting shape, very much inspired by some of the sculptors that I love. So obviously my foundation bottle was inspired by Brancusi and my love of that kind of modernist sculpture. And this one I'd say is more inspired by one of my favourites, Barbara Hepworth. So from the front it looks completely round like this, but it does have the flat edge here. So you're able to lay it flat. And again, it is a little bit like a pebble. And I really love that organic shape and the fact that it does have this really interesting flat bit here and it's quite abstract, very ergonomic, so nice to hold in your hand, very nice for traveling with, yeah just a really for me a very modern and beautiful pebble-like shape. So on to the most important thing and that is the formula. This is a really unique formula which is 78% skincare ingredients. So it's full of skincare actives and skincare ingredients that you'll find in your moisturizers, in your serums. And the other 22% is blurring pigments and makeup. So it's a real hybrid between skincare and makeup. I'd say in terms of coverage, it is more coverage than say a really, really, really sheer with hardly any coverage tinted moisturizer, but obviously not like a foundation. So it's more, I'd say halfway between something that has no coverage and a foundation. So it does give you definitely a little bit of evening out of blurring. So within the 78% of the skincare within the formula, there is glycerin, prickly pear seed oil and squalane, which is actually already in my other products as well. And then in addition to that, there's sunflower seed oil, cocoa caprolates, and it really has that great mix of the hydration magnets, the humectants, the moisturization. It ticks all the boxes in terms of looking after all skin types. So it's not just for one particular skin type. This time I chose to work with a laboratory I'd never worked with before, but they are a tiny, tiny lab in France run by a husband and wife team, very small. And I really was impressed with they mainly make skincare, but they use a lot of high naturality, a lot of high natural ingredients. And um, I decided to do this project with them because I felt it would have the care and attention of having a really, really small, almost boutique type laboratory. And also the care and attention of having the owners kind of really involved in the whole process. For me, it was a very, very nice process and it was a nice journey to go on. In terms of shades, I'm launching with 18 and these span across all of my 43 shades of foundation. The formula is quite skin adaptive. So I am going to show you today, for example, how three of the shades look on me, depending on what I'm looking for. And I think that happens a lot with skin tints. So I focused a lot on neutral shades, actually. I've got some olives, some neutrals, some goldens, but I have a good basis for this, uh, the 18 of neutrals. My reason behind doing that is that very often, this is what I personally find, when something is marketed as a skin tint, very often it's about adding a tan or, or making you warmed up or, or kind of giving you that sort of, yeah, more yellow or almost quite orangey effect. And personally, when I want a skin tint, I still want it to be very natural to my colour. I mean, I might use bronzer on top, I might use blush, whatever, but I don't necessarily want something that brings that you know, that oranginess or that tan. And I think very often I find 
within the industry that skin tint, oh, add a tan. So I am trying to really focus a lot on the neutral shades. And of course there are some neutral goldens, there's olives, there's all different undertones as well but really thinking about skin true shades. So this is exactly how I've explained it as well on the website, because this is the way I want to shop. This is what I want to know. I want to know that as a shade, say 11, 10, nine, whatever in my foundation, if I want to warm my skin up, go for this shade. If I want something that's a close match to my very natural skin tone, go here. If I want to brighten and add some brightness, have this shade. So it's having those options, but also understanding what you want from a tint because everyone wants something different. So to prep your skin before you use the tint, it really depends on your skin type. Because it does have a high volume, 78% of moisturization and hydration and skincare in there, then it will really depend. For me, for example, someone that has more of a combination skin, I tend to use it, and I've been using it for about a year now, as you can imagine. I tend to use it just with my mist, which I press in. And then in the summer, I use um, just my SPF. Or I sometimes use a light moisturizer. It's been so dark here for so long. I haven't seen the sun for a long time. So I would use something like just either an SPF. Having said that, when I was doing the shoot and we had a couple of ladies with very, very dry skin, then I was just used doing normal skin prep. So normal moisturization for dry skin underneath. So this is just a small amount of a lightweight moisturizer. And then I've got some people with really oily skin that say they just don't use any skincare under it, but it's entirely up to you and what you feel your skin needs. I would say just stick to your normal skincare routine, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna start with shade six, and I feel like this is my perfect shade right now. I'm usually in my foundation a shade 11. I think I'm more, you know, I haven't seen the sun for about six months, so I'm probably closer to a nine, 10 at the moment. And this is a neutral undertone, so I think it's just perfect for now. The first thing you need to do is give the formula a really, really good shake. And you need to do this so that all the skincare actives, the pigments and the blurring ingredients all get mixed up together. And that's super, super important. Once you've done that, then has a squeezy bottle. I like to start with about two drops. Ooh, did three there. Take it with my fingers and just dab on. It feels really fresh and light, even when you dab on like this. I personally like to use my fingers. You could use a kabuki brush, but it's really whatever you feel like. And then just start to blend. It is so easy to blend. It just evens out your skin tone. It gets rid of any redness. It just gives you that, your skin, but on its best day. You know, skin that really looks like skin. So easy to blend, takes all of two minutes to apply. And because there's some really nicely blurring pigments in there, you get that really beautiful kind of natural look that really feels just like real skin. What I also like to do is then go back in and put maybe another dot here and there. So I'm going to show you just how blurring this is and how good you can be, how buildable it is. Because I know sometimes with tinted moisturizers, there's just nothing in them. There's no coverage whatsoever. Whereas with this one, you can definitely get coverage where you need it. So say here where I do have quite a lot of um, pigmentation, if I want to just go back in there and just pop a little bit more on, I can start to get that nice bit of coverage. Not that you'll see any product on the skin, you won't, but it just starts to sort of blur any redness, any pigmentation. So I'm going to do extra just around my chin and my nose area. But again, this is just an extra drop. You don't need to use a lot at all. And it never feels greasy. It feels really, really soft. And the I'd say that the finish is not greasy looking either. It's a soft, fresh luminosity. It's glowy, but without that very greasy feeling. So it, it's suitable for all skin types. Even I'm more on the oily side, so 
I would say that sometimes this type of a product wouldn't last five minutes on me. It's really, really long wearing. I find that it lasts all day and it doesn't have that kind of, you know, after a while when you just start to feel so, so greasy, it feels quite soft. And the formula, just to go into a little bit more depth, of course it has 78% skincare, so it is like a really good hydrating, moisturizing, um, skin boosting formula. But as well as that, it's vegan and cruelty free. It's also fragrance free and free of any drying alcohols. So it's dermatologically tested too. If you are just prone to um, issues, particularly with fragrance and drying alcohols, you won't have that, that problem with this. It also is free from uh, mineral oils and um, talc. Um, what else is it free from? I can't remember now. Cyclic silicone, so it's the same as my foundation in that respect. Yeah, it's just really, really lovely to use. One other tip, I absolutely love using it under my eyes. I use one drop. I just find, because it's completely crease proof. So obviously if you've got very, very dark circles under your eyes, this is not gonna be enough for you. But I find that on a day when I'm having a kind of nice, um, not too heavy makeup day. Under the eyes, it's so good. It just lifts the shadows, just freshens under the eyes and corrects. If you can see. And again, it just feels so light and so fresh on the skin. Just really your skin, but on its best day. And then just build it wherever you need to. Once you've used it once or twice, you'll know, oh yeah, I like to use two drops or I like to use three drops, you know, and you can just kind of figure it out. But yes, that is the finished look. And that's shade six. So the next shade I'm gonna show you on me is shade eight. Seven is actually just a deeper neutral, but eight I would go to if I was, had a bit more summer tan. So again, I'm just gonna put a couple of drops back of my hand, I actually put three drops then, so I'm gonna save a little bit of that. And then just start to blend. This feels so light and fresh on the skin. Doesn't feel like makeup at all. And you can see already this is more golden. I'm someone that would get a tan, I guess, on my body, but not on my face in the summer. So this is a shade that I would switch to after a holiday. Or just once the sun starts coming out. Because at the moment we have rain every day here. More rain than I've ever seen. So I'm gonna go back in and put another drop just where I need it. So again, I'm going to go a little bit around my mouth a little bit on my chin and then just on any pigmented areas. Once you've got that nice thin layer all over, you can just selectively choose where to go back in. I'm gonna go under my eyes once again. I absolutely love this product under my eyes. It's become my kind of very lightweight, lifting, I'd say, concealer, rather than a concealer concealer. It's more of a a light correcting shadow lift, if that makes sense. And there's just no creasing whatsoever. One last extra bit on my pigmentation. And if you're someone that would like to use a tint but really feels like you need more coverage, then I mean, you really can build up with this. You don't need a lot, but you you can, of course, use your regular concealer on top. You could even, if you've got my Seamless Skin Foundation or any foundation, you could go in and use it like here and there if you just felt that you want the overall effect of a tint, but you still want to get more coverage here and there. But I find that, honestly, I can build up to the, the level that I need. And it's just so easy to use. I mean, the blending is completely foolproof. So that is the shade eight on me. And you can see that I can still wear shade eight. I can wear shade six, 
I could wear probably shade seven. It's just a case of what do you want and what kind of effect you want. Just gonna quickly show you one last shade, which is shade five. This is a shade that would match, I guess, if you were a 9.5, say, on my foundation. So it's a really true, true olive. And you know who you are, people that are this shade. I think it's a shade that people often stop me in the street and be like, thank God, you know, someone finally did foundations that are true olives and aren't really, really yellow or, and they are really desaturated and muted. I do feel like this shade is missing absolutely as well within a tint for the reasons I described earlier on. Very often they're quite peachy, they're quite golden, and it doesn't always work if you have that kind of skin tone. I'm going to apply it because I also find that I use this quite a lot on people with red, a lot of redness in their skin. So you can see it looks quite sort of greeny there, but some days this is the shade that I will use to kind of neutralize when I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup, but I don't particularly want to walk around with a red face. So I'll use this on my more red areas. And I find myself using it more and more on clients almost that have redness. And I'll use it kind of like a corrector sometimes. So, I mean, I can use this all over. I'll just show you how it looks when I've got more of an olive shade on. I think what I'm just trying to say is that these shades are really, really adaptable. So that's shade five. I put a tiny bit more on. See this redness here on my cheek from a few broken capillaries that I have. If I just pop a little bit of that on, if you can see that redness just completely vanish. So this will this shade will suit either true true olives in a light to medium skin tone, or if you're a similar kind of shade, I guess seven, eight, nine, and you find that you have a ton of redness and you just really want to cancel that out, but have your skin still look like skin, then that is shade five and it's red cancelling ability. So I've just put my enhancing tint shade six back on because I feel this is the perfect match for me at the moment. And I also put on some blush and I put on a tiny bit of powder here and here. Whether or not you use powder with it is entirely up to you. You don't need to. As I say, it's not a greasy formula that feels and looks greasy. Usually, to be honest, even with my combination oily skin, I wouldn't powder it straight away. Maybe after an hour or two I would, but obviously I'm being quite well lit today so you can really see everything. So I felt like a little bit of powder. And I feel like with this tint, if you've got more of a normal to dry skin, you won't need to powder. But I put a little bit here and here, just so you can see the sort of finished look of the um, of the tint. If you are looking for some extra help with your shade matching of the tint, please do not hesitate to email or DM my customer service team. I cannot tell you how good they are and how nice they are. They are just like you and me. They're just really helpful, they want to help you. I know sometimes I don't like reaching out to companies because I feel like, oh no, it makes me feel, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable. Please feel comfortable. I have so many incredible reviews every day and messages sent to me about how wonderful my CS team are and they will really, really help you. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can just look at the website and you'll see lots of different models wearing the tint. And again, I've sort of matched up against the seamless skin shades too. So you can read a little bit more about that too. So any help you need, please just reach out and let us know. So on to my next launch, and this is my latest lip pencil. So this is my sculpting lip pencil. So it is quite different from my enhance and define one that I have now. So if you think of my enhance and define one as it's really incredible to use with my velvets, it's a quite a strong payoff of color. They set down, they are waterproof, oil proof. They don't budge but they're not quite as blendable maybe. You get a bit of blendability, but once they set, they set hard. This new range of lip pencils is more about, again, this skin enhancing thing, which is why I'm launching them the same time as my tint. 
I'm also really focusing on the undertones again and trying to take the guesswork out of finding a sculpting lip pencil that works with your skin tone and your lip tone, not necessarily with a particular lip colour. So it's really about enhancing skin, enhancing lips, using those tones in complexion, which I have built my whole career on really, and really understanding complexion undertones, bringing that into the lip, um, the world of lip liners and creating a formula that which is ultimately blendable and can also look natural because I feel like sometimes when you're trying to enhance your lip shape for example maybe you want to make your lips look fuller it can look a little bit fake my new pencils I'm going to show you anyway you can soften them to the degree that it looks really, really real. And that's something that, of course, you can paint them and make them look more defining, but you have the option to do a very natural looking sculpt with your lips. So I'm very excited about the colours. There are 10 in, in total. There are four neutrals. So there's a 0N, a 1N, a 2N and a 3N. So these work across all different skin tones. Then I have more of a cool toned um, set, which is 1C, 2C and 3C. So again, not really giving them names, but relating it back to foundation undertones, skin undertones, tint undertones. And then there are three warmer tones, 1W, 2W and 3W. So you can see that they're all very skin tone friendly. So I'm gonna start with 0N because this is a great shade. I personally love this shade. If you want something very neutral and you are of a lighter skin tone, so my sort of light to medium skin tone. Now on the website, you'll see the lip pencils on all different skin tones. So you'll be able to see how they work against light to medium to deep to deeper skin tones. But for the sake of me being the model today, I'm gonna to start with 0N. And I also want to show you the formula as well. So this shade is a shade that was missing. I couldn't find this on the market. The reason being is that sometimes when you're looking for a shadow around your lips that creates a very natural looking tone, I find them a bit orangey or a bit too pink, which isn't necessarily um, the color of shadow. A bit like contouring, you know the way contour, the best ones are almost a little bit gray. They have that kind of neutrality to them. So I'm just gonna show you. I don't know if you can see how soft this is going on. Obviously I can build up. Uh, and this does not feel like I've got anything on my lips. So you're able to go in. It does set, but not in a way that you're unable to have enough time to really sculpt. So I want to do a shadow underneath my lower lip line. And then I'm gonna to start to really blend that color. And this feels so nice on the lips because it doesn't dry down with that very, very tight matte finish, which a lot of the really, really full-on kind of waterproof versions do. This is water resistant and it's definitely smudge resistant but it has that softness to it that means you can actually go over the entire lips as well and create a really soft natural looking sculpt. So that's how it looks when it's all over my lips very softly you can use a brush to blend it. You can use your fingers to blend it. If I wanted to go in and make it more contoury, then I just press a bit heavier. And then on top of that, you could use a gloss, you could use, I usually use my lucents on top 
well I'm going for this effect or of course you can use a velvet you could use a velveteen on top um, and the idea is really about creating dimension in the lip so creating something which does have a shadow around the edge maybe some shading at the corners and then I'll show you with maybe one of my um, lucents. So I'm applying Kitten Mischief on top. I'm just going to apply that around the centre just to show you how much volume you get. Just by applying a slightly lighter shade or brighter shade just in the centre and then you've got that shading around the edge. I mean it's subtle it's a subtle version, particularly with this shade, because this is a really good shade for light to medium skin tone sculpting, zero N. So it is quite a soft effect. And we've been trying this these pencils out for such a long time. They're just such a lovely wooden pencil. They come in a box with a sharpener, so you're able to sharpen them. And we find that they last so well. But again, you have that blendability, that softness. You can almost get a very like soft focus edge finish. So if you do want to overdraw or you just want to define in a way that doesn't look like here I am with my lip liner, you're able to achieve that. It does look very natural in real daylight. So next I'm going to apply the shade 1C. So this is more of a cool tone, more of a pink. Um, and this is my other favourite shade. So I'm going to show you how this looks. So I'm doing it almost like, because it doesn't have any drag and it's really soft, you could almost turn it on the side and kind of feather it onto the lips as well. Or you can use the point and get more of a strong line. I'm going to use it again just to sculpt a little bit. This time I think I'm going to use it all over my lips just to show you how I can do a comfortable lip colour with this alone. And at any point you can just dab with fingers, you can just sort of soften. So if you think, oh, actually I want it a bit softer than that, you can kind of move it around. That is starting to set now, but as I say, even when it sets, it doesn't feel really dry. It's got that soft focus it's matte, but it's kind of a luminous, soft focus matte. I'm just going to put some lip balm on top. So I've just found my lip balm. Put a tiny bit of lip balm on. Sometimes I'll just do that. So I'll put a little bit of gloss on or just leave it as it is on its own. And other times I will use it with a little bit of a lighter, like a fawn lipstick. And then I'm going to go in with the shade fawn. just on the inside, so that just gives it a little bit of that. Again, it's very soft. I mean, to be honest, if I want a stronger sculpting effect, I would probably go for 2C within this range. I'll show you that as well. So this is 2C. But sometimes I just like it really soft. I want my slips sculpted, but not to look like they're sculpted. So this is going in with the shade 2C now, which is gonna give a stronger effect.
And you can see lots of different skin tones and different models on my website. So, of course, this is only stuff that works with my lips and my skin tone today. But they're all on there. that's a more sculpted effect with 2C. So that's how shade 2C looks when I'm sculpting. And I think the texture of these is just so forgiving. You're able to smudge, you're able to keep it really soft. The shades really flatter the lips and it just takes a little bit of the workout in a way of getting that really nice sculpted lip, but without it feeling or looking really, really obvious. So I think that's it for today, guys. That is the launch of my Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint and my Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencils. But there is one more thing to mention, and that is that I do have a new gift with purchase pouch to celebrate these launches. And it's my usual, like the same shape as my velvet ones but this time it's inspired by a piece of vintage chambre denim that I actually bought about 20 odd years ago in Portobello Road with the idea that I was going to make something beautiful out of it. I still have the fabric here, we were just looking at it, but it still inspires me and I really love this kind of vintage denim-y feel and I think it's a great one for the summer. And if you do get any makeup on, it doesn't really show up and you can wash it. So that is my new gift with purchase denim pouch. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to my amazing team. They are kind, they are caring, and they are knowledgeable. Um, and also do look on the site because you'll see lots more skin tones and um, yes, let me know in the comments what you think of these new shades, new products, and if you have any questions, just let me know.